Hello! Mabuhay! This is Teacher Lourdes, and this is your course, Environmental Science. Our last 11 is Biotic Potential. Our objectives are discuss and explain the biotic potential. And you will state what you have learned in this lesson in a two-minute video. This lesson discusses biotic potential and environmental resistance. It defines biotic potential as the maximum growth potential of a population under ideal conditions with no limiting factors. Biotic potential can be divided into reproductive, survival, nutritive, and protective potentials. Environmental resistance refers to all factors that inhibit population growth, including climate, predators, disease, and lack of resources. The relationship between biotic potential and environmental resistance determines a population's carrying capacity. Are you ready to learn? Let's have the lesson proper. When we look at the different forms of life, we often wonder how they have continued to exist one generation after another. The different species of flora and fauna have devised various adaptive and behavioral techniques to make their populations stand against all the odds of extinction and forces of nature. On this line, we would like to introduce the topic of biotic potential to you. What is biotic potential? Biotic potential is described by the unrestricted growth of population resulting in the maximum growth of that population. Biotic potential is the highest possible vital index of a species. Therefore, when the species has its highest birth rate and lowest mortality rate, Biotic potential is the ability of a population of living species to increase under ideal environmental conditions, such as sufficient food supply, no predators, and a lack of disease. An organism's rate of reproduction and the size of its, of its litter are the primary determining factors for biotic potential. As with other organisms, this is and always has been a survival strategy against food deprivation, predation, and parasitism. Any condition that inhibits the increase in number of the population, it is generally only rich when environmental conditions are very favorable. A species reaching its biotic potential would exhibit was exponential population growth and be said to have a high fertility. That is, no mean how many offspring are produced per mother. For example, elephants produce only one offspring per year because of their size. And mosquitoes produce 1,000 plus of its offspring per year. Biotic potential refers to the inherent power of a population to increase in numbers when all environmental conditions are favorable, whereas carrying capacity refers to the maximum population size that a given environment can support for an indefinite period or on a sustainable basis. These are the types of biotic potentials. Reproductive potential. It is actually directly related to potential natality or birth rate. It defines the upper limit of biotic potential when only the maximal birth rate is counted and no mortality rate is taken into account. Survival potential. Since the reproductive potential 
is incapable to give accountability for the total number of gametes surviving in a population and hence the future biotic potential, hence survival potential gains prime importance. It emphasizes the role of available gametes in the future biotic potential of the species. It's the reciprocal of mortality. The next one, nutritive potential. It is the ability to gather and use food supply or resources for growth and energy. Protective potential. It is the ability of an organism to protect and guard itself against the destructive and challenging forces of the environment. This ability can ensure safe and secure successful mating and care for the young ones. According to the ecologist R. N. Chapman, in 1928, the biotic potential could be divided into a reproductive and survival potential. The survival potential could in turn be divided into nutritive and protective potentials. The biotic potential is the quantitative expression of the ability of a species to face natural selection in any environment. The main equilibrium of a particular population is described by the equation number of individuals equals biotic potential over resistance of the environment, biotic and abiotic. Chapman also relates to a vital index regarding a ratio to find the rate surviving members of a species, whereas vital index equals number of births over the number of deaths times 100. Let's now discuss environmental resistance. Full expression of the biotic potential of an organism is restricted by environmental resistance, any factor that inhibits the increase in number of the population. These factors include unfavorable climatic conditions, lack of space, light, or a suitable substrate, deficiencies of necessary chemical compounds or minerals, and the inhibiting effects of predators, parasites, diseased organisms, or unfavorable, unfavorable genetic changes. In ecology, the capacity of an ecosystem like a lake, coral reef, or forest to resist change despite the introduction of a stressor is called environmental resistance. Ecological resistance and environmental resistance are synonyms, terms that describe how an ecosystem resists invasive species by limiting their survival, reproduction rate, and overall population growth. The definition of environmental resistance involves the impacts of both living and non-living factors that help preserve the trophic and biological organization of an ecosystem despite the introduction of a stressor. The remainder of this lesson will explore what is environmental resistance and the factors that make ecosystems more likely to resist change. Biotic resistance factors are parasitism, pathogens, predation, herbivory, seed-eating animals, competition for food, or competition for space, species diversity, toxic plants, and lack of other organisms that support the invasive species. Abiotic resistance factors are temperature, climate, humidity, drought, fire, floods, soil quality, water salinity, and soil characteristics. Carrying capacity describes the maximum population capacity of a species within a particular ecosystem given the resistance factors and resources of that ecosystem. A species that has reached carrying capacity has a stable population that does not damage the health or equilibrium of the ecosystem. Carrying capacity is rich when there is a balance between the biotic potential of a population and environmental resistance factors. To illustrate, we can look at this diagram. Okay. You can see that the biotic potential 
increases along with the population growth and the environmental carrying capacity is in line with the logistic growth. Thank you for listening. These are my resources. Thank you so much for these resources. For your student activity, you will state what you have learned in this lesson in a two-minute video. You will submit it to our Google Classroom in two days. Thank you for listening. Mabuhay!